Today, we turn our attention to Sudan, a nation grappling with a complex and ongoing conflict that's captivated the world's attention. In this video, we'll delve into the latest updates and insights from the war in Sudan. To understand the current war in Sudan, we must first examine its historical context. The conflict is rooted in long-standing grievances related to power sharing, wealth distribution, and political representation. Discontent among marginalized groups, regional tensions, and ethnic divisions have fueled the flames of this protracted conflict. Economic challenges, resource scarcity, and competition for land have further exacerbated the situation, leading to widespread violence and displacement. Decades of civil war, the secession of South Sudan, and the subsequent power vacuum have left Sudan grappling with unresolved issues. The transition to civilian rule following the ousting of former President Omar al-Bashir has also been marked by significant challenges. These factors have contributed to the current state of conflict in Sudan. There are a few key players, including government forces, rebel groups, and ethnic militias. It also emphasizes the influence of regional dynamics, with neighboring countries and regional powers playing significant roles in supporting different factions. These complex webs of alliances and rivalries have contributed to the escalation of the conflict, making a resolution even more challenging. Regional powers such as Egypt, Ethiopia, and United Arab Emirates have been involved in providing support to different factions in Sudan. The interests of these external actors combined with internal power struggles have further complicated the path to peace and stability in Sudan. The war in Sudan has had devastating humanitarian consequences. We've seen the displacement of thousands of people, widespread human rights abuses, and the disruption of essential services such as healthcare and education. The civilian population, particularly women and children, bear the brunt of this crisis. Humanitarian organizations and the international community have responded with efforts to provide aid and support, but the scale of the crisis requires sustained and coordinated action. The United Nations and regional bodies have been engaged in diplomatic initiatives to promote dialogue and peace negotiations. There is a clear need for a comprehensive and inclusive approach that addresses the root causes of this conflict, promotes reconciliation, and ensures accountability for past atrocities. The conflict in Sudan has far-reaching implications, both for the country itself and the broader region. Instability in Sudan has the potential to spill over into neighboring countries, exacerbating regional tensions. Furthermore, the conflict threatens Sudan's economic development, hindering efforts to alleviate poverty and improve living conditions for its people. The resolution of the conflict in Sudan is crucial not only for the well-being of its citizens, but also for regional peace and stability. The international community must recognize the interconnectedness of regional conflicts and work collaboratively to find sustainable solutions. We must recognize the urgent need for sustainable peace and stability. Resolving the conflict requires addressing the underlying causes, promoting inclusive governance, and fostering economic development. The international community must continue to support humanitarian efforts and engage in diplomatic initiatives to facilitate dialogue and reconciliation among the parties involved. Although it may seem like it, Sudan's war is not an isolated event, but it's interconnected with regional dynamics and has far-reaching implications. It's crucial to recognize that a lasting solution to this conflict in Sudan will contribute to stability not only within the country, but in the wider region. 